Hello everybody, welcome to Matt Fry Golf. Today I'm here to give you a little drill, little game that you can play to help you make sure that you're starting your putts out on your intended target line. This is crucial if we want to be holding, you know, a lot more putts and really bringing our scores down. Very, very simple, easy thing to do. So let's have a look at it and see if it can help you. So as you can see, I've got a couple of tee pegs set up here. You know, you'll see a view from above and I see, you'll see the view from behind, what it actually looks like to the putter. So what we need to do is actually make sure that we're always starting our putts down the line. We think that they're going to take, you know, and then let gravity take their course and the break will then come into play and hopefully, you know, we hold those putts. What we see a lot of people, you know, a lot of amateurs I teach really do not start the putts where they actually think they're aiming. They see it, you know, on the right edge of the hole and they're actually starting the ball out on the left edge and wondering why it's missing left every time. So this little drill will really help you focus in on where you're actually starting to roll these putts and hopefully, like I say, really lower the scores. Now the idea of the tee pegs, it's like a gate, basically. I've made it quite uh, hard on myself, only a ball can pass through literally by probably I think two millimeters each side on each peg and then up by the hole I've also got another gate where if the ball were to catch the lip it would go in but it would hit the tee peg and stop it going in from there so only putts that are going in the center are going to get into the hole so what we need to do is come behind you know try it on a straight putt to start off with you need to set your ball up so it's looking straight down the line of the putt line it up nicely you know, if you use the line on your ball, this is a great one. You should see it rolling end over end as well if we start to set it off on the right line instead of cutting across it and putting some side spin on it. Make sure you're happy with it going through that gate. Is that the line it should be going on? Yeah. Take your good setup. Make sure your eyes are a bit over the ball. You're looking directly down that line of the putt. Then what we want to see. Now, it got through the first gate, which was good, and just caught the tee peg, but it went in. So obviously on the course, it would have gone in with no trouble. I'm being quite hard on myself here at the moment. You don't need the gate up by the hole, but if you've got the one halfway down to start with, to make sure that you're actually getting the putt, you know, at least halfway to the hole on the right line, you're onto a winner already there. So let's go again. Again, we take our setup, making sure we've got those good fundamentals. And then all we're trying to do is get it rolling through this first gate. See, so just caught the tee peg, not hit it online, the putt would have missed. Would have missed left that one for me, caught the left peg. So to start with guys, you know, you can be, um, obviously you want to be fair to yourself, you don't want to make it too hard and you know, you're just going to get totally thrown off the game. So what I'd suggest is giving yourself maybe half an inch either side, put a ball down and then measure with your tee pegs, you know, a space where that ball can travel through give it half an inch and then as you're getting better and better make sure that you know there's always enough space for the ball to travel through that's crucial or else you'll, you're up to a loser but then bring it in so only the ball can just get through it every time so let's give it one more go got to redeem myself after that bad last one so yeah see it that's good make sure i get my good setup Eyes over. Perfect, straight in the middle, didn't even touch any of the pegs. So guys, very, very easy game to play when you're down at the club. You know, you can just, everyone's got four tee pegs. Put four tee pegs down, you know, do it over sort of six to eight feet to start with. And then also you can try it on breaking putts. If you've got something that's sloping, you know, you want to start it out a foot right, make sure the ball's starting out on that target and you're not actually aiming at the hole. Guys, I hope this tip does help you. As always, do subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it. Also, check me out on my other social media platforms. There's Twitter, at Matt Fryer Golf, Facebook, at Matt Fryer Golf, uh, Instagram. Loads of stuff going on on there. Um, and also, do comment down below if you want any tips making. I'll make them for you, no problem. And I'll see you soon with more videos, guys. Cheers. Give that a go.